Hey Tree, I hope you're doing well. I'm back with another video. Today we are making the bucket hat and this video was suggested by Miss Phoebe. If you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comment. Now let's begin with the video. First thing you will need your hat measurement. You divide that measurement by 6.28. The outcome will be your radius to make a perfect circle use a compass measure the radius on the compass with a ruler then draw a circle add seam allowance all the way around and here is your first pattern piece for the side panel divide your head measurement by two Draw a rectangle of the divided measurement. The shorter line is the width of the hat. That is for you to decide how long you want it to be. Then divide the rectangle in sections. Cut through the line, not all the way through, but if you do, that is fine too. Spread out the pieces on new paper. Make sure to spread it out evenly between the sections. Tape it down. Then draw the new bottom line, add seam allowance all the way around. You can skip one side if you only want one seam in your hat. Measure the bottom length for the next pattern piece. Draw a new rectangle that has the bottom measurement of the previous pattern piece. Also for the brim you can decide how long the width needs to be. Then divide the brim in sections as well. I did 5 but you can do more or less. Then cut the lines almost all the way through. Then spread the sections evenly on new paper. The more you spread it the floppier the hat will be. Connect the sections. After that you can add the seam allowance all the way around. And congratulations, you just made your own pattern. I also made a pattern of the hat as well. The link is in the description if you're interested. Now cut your piece on fabric. I used leftover fabric for the hat from our previous sewing project. You can add lining to make the hat reversible. It all depends on what type of fabric you use. And make sure to search all the raw edges. Sew the sides of the side panel together with the right sides touching. Start your computations. Press the seam open. I'm using my fingers for this because I was too lazy to grab the iron. Top stitch along the seam on both sides. This will also secure the seam allowance on the other side. Once you're done, it should look like this. Attach the circle onto the side panel. If you lay the side panel flat like so, you can see that the top is shorter than the bottom. You want to make sure that you sew the shorter side onto the circle. The right side of the circle is facing you. I flip the side panel so that the right side is on the inside. Place it right on top of the circle and sew all the way around. You can use pins if you need to. Hold the side with a bit tension. Take your time when you do this because this is the most difficult part of the hat. As you can see I was not able to finish it in one go so I did that off cam. Again, I'm using my fingers to just open up the seam on both sides. Then top stitch all the way around the hat. Make sure that the seam allowance is facing down when you do this. Pull the fabric like so, like I'm doing here. And then you're done with this part. Moving on with the brim, sew along the sides of the brim with a pretty size together. Repeat the same with the other pair. Huh. Here I'm opening the seams once again with my fingers, but you can also use the iron of course. 
then sew the pieces together with the pretty sides on the inside. Make sure to line up the seams. I think we're getting into a weird area here. Sew so the bottom all the way around the edge. Open up the seam like so with the iron or with the fingers like I'm doing here. Then iron the brim flat like so. Now add pins to the brim and this is to prevent the brim from shifting when you start sewing the lines. Now you can sew the lines all the way around the brim. I did the whole brim, but you can also do just three lines, four, five, whatever you want. For the spacing between the lines, I used the pressure feed as a guideline. You can also make the spacing a half a centimeter. It's whatever you prefer. Now sew the brim onto the side panel with the pretty sides together, so all the way around. Also make sure to line up the seams of the brim and the side panels together. Then top stitch along the side panel like so. This is the end result of the bucket hat. The pattern of the bucket hat is available, link in the description. I will be adding more styles to it. Let me know what you think of the video. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. Share the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.